Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and welcome to my beginner's guide to the guns, weapons, ammo and attachments of Daisy. Now this is really a beginner's guide. So what I've created is this uh, lovely warehouse, it's almost like a gun convention in here, where we have every single vanilla gun in the game. And I'm going to talk about the guns themselves, the ammo they take, attachments and where to find them, that sort of stuff. Um, now this is quite a large subject, but I just want to cover um, a couple of concepts before we really dive in. Now the first one is about kind of how the loot works in Daisy. So this is Chernerus, um, and this is uh, Livonia. These are I Survive maps. You get go find them at Daisy.gnfo.gg or just do a Google search. And on Chernerus, you're going to spawn along the coast, and the further towards the northwest you go the better gear you will get and that includes weapons and other loot so the best weapons are always going to be in the northwest of the map in Chernerus and they're going to be towards the south of the map in Livonia next up always in Daisy um, items spawn where um, you would expect them to spawn in real life so what I mean by that is that if you're uh, in the Northwest Airfield area and you go to the military barracks, that's where you'll find military stuff. If you're in a village or a small town, that's where you'll find that sort of stuff. And this applies to weapons as well. So certain weapons are military weapons, certain weapons are civilian weapons, certain weapons are, um, are police weapons. So you're going to find that as we go along as well. Also, again, if you're really, really new and you're not quite sure... Um, the, the mechanics of weapons I'm going to go through sort of loading gun, uh, bullets into ammo that sort of thing but the actual physical kind of handling of weapons so I've got I've got a gun in my hand now we've got the uh, the USG 45 with the amp um, and on PC to aim down sights you just um, right click and that'll aim down sights um, and if you hold um, uh, your right click you do a soft aim like that now when you're on console um, your left trigger will make you aim down sights, you know, do a soft aim. But if you click in your right stick, that's when you'll, you'll aim down sights. So kind of that's the basic aim, and then you pull the right trigger to fire. And sorry, and on PC you press the left button to fire. So let us go in and let's just cover some of the real, real basics of um, uh, weapons. So let's just wander in. And let's first, let's just look at a pistol. So here we go. So here we've got... Um, uh, the uh, CR-75 pistol and this is ha often how you'll find pistols so if we if we take it to our hands and we have a look at it we'll see this is the pistol itself and then there's, there's some things it can have it can have a magazine um, it can have uh, something on the front like a suppressor or an improvised suppressor uh, sometimes it can have a flashlight and sometimes it can have a scope and unlike almost any game you've ever come across yes guns spawn in without any magazines or bullets in them so now let's take a magazine so let's put that on our backpack and let's have a look at that magazine now normally magazines will not spawn full of bullets like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bullets out of this magazine and when you do want to take bullets out of a magazine because you want to swap them to another just follow the screen prompts in the bottom left hand corner basically if you've got a magazine in your hand that's got bullets in it will uh, give you the option to empty them so most of the time you'll find magazines like this one um, which basically are empty over it and have only got a few bullets in so the first thing you have to do is find some bullets um, so you can see on this table there's uh, boxed um, ammo like that and you find loose ammo as well and the ammo must match the type of ammo that the, uh, the weapon takes um, and this will tell you, you can hold it over the, the, the mag and it will tell you detachable box magazine for the CR-75 pistol holds up to 50 round, 15 rounds of 9x19 um, similarly if you hold your uh, mouse over the, the pistol it, itself it will tell you it uses 9x19 and if you're using a, a controller if you just move the highlight over the particular weapon it will tell you that way so now we've got a magazine in our hand um, and we found some bullets um, we can uh, unbox the bullets if we want. So let's put that back over there. Let's pick up uh, a box. So if you pick up a box of bullets, first thing you have to do is unpack it. So you see in the bottom left-hand corner, it says unpack. So we're just going to unpack that. There we go. And then in our hand, there'll be some bullets and on the floor will be some paper. So what we can do is we can put them into our backpack. We can take 
our magazine here and then we combine the two so what you do on console is you just put the magazine in your hand um, move the highlight over the top of the bullets and at the bottom you'll get the option to combine on PC we can just come across with uh, click and drag and then you'll see it will say load magazine so my character is physically loading bullets into a magazine yes this is what you have to do in Daisy to get started and this blew me away the first time I did it so now we've done that we can grab our pistol we'll just swap those over so pistol and then we can press R and then we've loaded it and then he's loaded it and then we can fire our pistol and that's how complicated guns are in Daisy. They they really are very very complicated. So let's just drop that. Okay, so we've covered we've covered the basics. Let's start looking at some of the more interesting guns. We'll leave uh, the pistols for for later on. So let's wander up here. Let's find probably some of, some of the guns that you, you'll find first. Some of the guns you'll probably come across first are the shotguns. So here we have the BK133. Um, uh, pump action shotgun we've got the bk 43 break action so this one you know opens up and um, takes two two uh, shells in it and there's the sword off version you can make with a with a saw and then we have the uh, vega which is a or the sega which is a military uh, automatic or semi-automatic shotgun that fires very very quickly and chews through your ammo very very quickly indeed now they'll all take um uh, slugs uh, buckshot or rubber slugs it's probably best to ignore rubber slugs unless you just want to have a, have some fun with your friends um, and these will come in loose or box variants the rifle slug is literally like a massive bullet that does loads of damage when it hits your target um, um, whereas the buck shots will spread out more I really like the shotgun especially for dealing with um, dealing with with zombies and I guess that they're good in PvP situations as well now my favourite shotgun is probably the BK133, the pump action shotgun. But the one you'll probably find first is the BK43. Now the BK43 in its full version is found um, in farms, that's why I've got the wellies here, and it's found in villages, that's why I've got the apple there. And when you've found it, you can load it up with yeah, you know with the uh, with the slugs or the buckshots and it will be ready to go. Now the BK133, which can also take the mini sights, um, is found in police stations. So if you come across a police station, have a look through, see if you can find the pump action shotgun. Now the the uh, Vega or the Sega, that's found in military locations, again up towards the northwest of Chernus or the south of Livonia. Um, and with this particular gun, you can put on a uh, lightweight buttstock to it to complete it. And you can also put on the Russian types of sights. More of that later. And then it has a few different types of mags. It's got a eight round mag, a five round mag, or the brilliant 20 round drum mag. However, you've just got to bear in mind that that uses a lot of ammo. So let's have a look at this Vega because you know it needs putting together. So what we'll do, let's, um, let's take it to our hands. And then if we look over here, we've got the lightweight box. So let's take that um, and let's take that and let's now look in our inventory so what we can now do is we can take the buttstock we can put that on we could take the sights we can put that on and then we can actually go up to here go up to the drum mag and we can just left click uh, on concert test and, and we are now attached and then if we press x we can go to full auto or semi-auto um, I think it's. I'm probably going to get this wrong. Yeah, but I'm not going to. I check the controls on your con consoles to tell you how to change between fire modes, and then you have this beast. I mean, how cool is that? That will take out a horde of zombies. But also remember, <laughs> it will attract horde of zombies. So very, very good for close range work indeed. Okay, so let's drop that one, and let's go and look at some other interesting weapons. So we're going to start off with the. Uh, what have we got here? These are the SMGs. Again, a little bit more common. Um, so first off, we've got the Bison. Now the Bison is very, very cool um, because it takes this really big 64 round mag. Now you'll find this in military locations um, and the Bison, you can do it up, you can ha have the Bison and you can add on the lightweight buttstock, the 64 round mag, and it will take all of the Russian sites. Now in the game, there's kind of two main groupings of different sites that fit on the different types of Russian, Russian uh, sites, different types of guns, sorry. There's the Russian ones, 
like these, the Cobra, the P187L, the uh, 1PN51, which is the night vision scope, the PSO11, and the PSO1. Um, they fit all the Russian types guns. And then the if we go over here, we'll see. So this is an SG5K. These are all the NATO sort of Western type uh, sites. So we've got the Baraka sites. We've got the ATOG 648, the ATOG or the ACOG 4x32. We've got the uh, RVN, we've got the night vision, and we've got the combat sites. Um, which sites you you go with is kind of up to you. When guns do spawn in in Daisy, they spawn in with random attachments on them. Now, to be honest, a 64 round SMG, you're probably not going to be putting it on um, something that, that that's very much um, gives you loads of magnification because there's no such point point to do that. You're probably going to use it for close range. Um, and the Bison takes uh, 0.380 rounds, which again are available in loose or boxed. But again, with that 64 round magazine, it's going to take quite a few bullets. But the beauty of that 64 round magazine is that when you are in a gunfight, you know you don't have to stop and reload most of the time. Now, when we are going through these guns, you know, and we're going through an awful lot of them, do also remember that the best gun is always the gun that you've got with you. So if you only just happen to have a revolver with a couple of bullets in and you come across a situation where you've got to deal with, with an enemy player, you know, that's the best gun you've got. Use it as best you can and then run away if you, if you can't kill them. And also, a big mistake people tend to make in Daisy is they think that you have to have a gun to kill other players. When in fact, especially at closer ranges, it's very easy to jump around and even punch people to death or hit them with a melee weapon and they'll just miss you with the guns because they'll keep aiming down sights and, and they'll, they'll miss you and miss you and miss you where you'll be able to take them out, knock them out um, and take their gear. Just remember that in Daisy, people get knocked out first and they will wake up so you have to finish them off with a headshot or you know beat them to death that way um so there's the bison i quite like the bison. i like having big magazines in my guns um also remembering daisy it's not a good idea to take on um zomb to zombies with uh, guns unless you really really have to even if you fit the suppressor for example to this bison it takes the pistol suppressor as soon as you start firing, even a suppressed weapon, it will attract lots and lots of zombies. So only use them in, as a last resort. Now this is a cool little weapon. This is the CR61 Scorpion. You get a 20 round mag to it. It'll take the pistol suppressor and it runs off box th uh, 380 or loose 380. And you'll find this in police stations. So you know when you see a police station or a guardhouse, go in and you may well find one of these lovely little weapons. Remember, weapons in Daisy spawn in different conditions as well. So depending on the server you're on, they might do it slightly differently. Um, so you just hold your um, uh, mouse pointer over the weapon, or if you want to, you can uh, put the highlighter over it on, uh, on controller, and you'll see that on my USG45, it says pristine. As you use weapons, you know they become worn. Um, as they become damaged as well, what you'll want to do is you'll want to use a gun cleaning kit on them if you use a gun cleaning kit that will help to restore them um, they will also have a higher chance of jamming as well so then you have to free the jam so there's the uh, cr61 scorpion very very nice little gun now the sg5k or the mp5k very nice submachine gun as you see though it's very very modular so we kind of have the body of it there um, and then there's the uh, rail handguard or a plastic uh, handguard which is there so if you put the rail handguard on, it means you can attach accessories like a universal flashlight. So the flashlight then fixes onto the front of the gun with, uh, well, the side of the gun with a battery, and then that will light up in front of you. It's very, very useful at night. Uh, you've got a compensator you can put on to reduce recoil, and it will take the pistol suppressor as well. And then you've got a 30-round uh, a mag and the slightly smaller mag, I can't remember how, 15-round uh, mag as well. Now, because it has the rail, um, type fitting the uh, SG5K or MP5K can take all the NATO um, guns as well. So if we take the let's take the SG5K and let's put some bits on it. So let's put the side rail. Let's put the torch on it. Um, let's put the stock on it. Let's put the pistol suppressor on it. Let's put the 30 round mag on it. There we go. And let's put one of the, uh, let's put the six, <laughs> six by 48 on it. Okay, so you, this might look a little bit silly, but you've got a very nice red dot there and we can switch over to um, a uh, six times. 
how practical this gun will be as a six times who knows but you know if it's what you've got it's what you've got now this g5k or mp5k will be found in military areas so you can see there so let's drop that off now moving on we've got the usg 45 or the ump 45 similar sort of idea to the to the mp5 again it's a modular system where we you know we, we've got the uh, rail system you can see actually attached to the gun so you can put the universal flashlight on it um, this one takes uh, 45 acp so you've got loose 45 box 45 we have a 25 round mag we can put on um, and again it's taking the nato type um, scope so you've got the 648 the 432 the rvn uh, the combat sights there is the little sight as well that i haven't put on here and then you've got the starlight night vision scope you know, found in military areas nice little qu quite a common gun the uh, usg 45 or the ump 45 you find it hanging around in lots of different places military tents that sort of stuff quite close to the coast um but it's good good to keep you going i tend tend to recommend make sure you put it onto semi uh, auto so you don't burn through all of your weapons okay so let's have a look at some really fun guns next so these are these are the kind of the rarer ones that you'll come across so let's have a look at this baby so the s foul now the s foul is really cool because it's like a marksman's rifle um, that has a built-in silencer uh, uses 9 by 39 uh, rounds you can get loose ones or box ones but and has an armor piercing variant as well so very good for going through bulletproof vests um, we've got a, a 20 round mag and because this has the NATO type rail on the top of it you can use all the NATO sort of sights of the Baraka, the 4x32, the 6x48, RVN, the Starlight Scope. However the catch with the SVAL is it's only found in um, contaminated zones. So if we go back to the map so you've got um, Riffy up here and then you've got um, here we go uh, Pavlovo, uh, military base Pavlovo down there on Chernobyl. So these are the places that have permanent gas zones. So very cool gun, but you're going to have to really um, get your MBC suit to, to get into these places to have the chance of finding one of them because they are super, super rare. Now a variant of this is the VSS. Um, and the VSS takes 9 by 39 and again there's loose variants, box variants, armor piercing variants. Um, and this will take the Russian scopes. So you've got the PSO-1, the PSO-11, the Cobra sights, the P-187, and the Russian um, night vision scope. Um, again, this is found in um, those those chem areas. Now, the, because the violent, the, sorry, the built-in silencers on these particular weapons are very, very quiet indeed. So they're probably amongst the quietest um, of the non-pistol weapons in, in DayZ. Now, here we go. VSD um, or the Dragonov, really good uh, semi automatic, you could call it a semi automatic sniper rifle to be honest. Again, you, it will take all of the Russian scopes, so PSO 1, PSO 1 1, Cobra, um, that sort of thing. Um, you can fit the uh, normalized or the AK suppressor to it, um, and it comes, you can find the 10 round, uh, 10 round mag. Now, these are again very, very rare. You will find these at helicopter crash sites. So as you're wandering around Chernarus towards the northwest or to the south of Livonia, you'll hear helicopters crashing and sometimes you'll see the smoke coming up as well. And at these sites, this is where you get things like this spawning. Dangerous places to be because there's zombies there and they attract other players. Um, also, with the new trains that are spawning in now as well, you may well find this sort of thing there. You may find that sort of thing there. Now, the La or Fal, one of the most sought-after guns in the game. Very, very rare indeed. Um, very high-powered. This thing uses uh, .308 weapons, uh, a bullet, sorry. You'll find there's box variants, there's loose variants, and there's a tracer variant and a normal variant. 20-round um, mag. You've got two different types of buttstock to it. It uses the NATO rail system, so you've got access to the ACOD scopes, uh, the Starlight scopes. And again, this is found on uh, helicopter crash sites, and perhaps maybe these new trains when they're the military ones, depending on where they are. So really, really good. If you can find it, a LA, um, you're into, you know, you've got a very nice weapon indeed and worth hanging on to it. And that's why it's worth picking up things like um, 308. Now, let us just take a stroll down here because I want to talk about some of these weapons next. Now, these, funnily enough, are some of the more common weapons 
um, that you will find uh, around AZ, and that is the Mosan sniper rifle. Now, this weapon is found in villages and towns and in hunting areas. So, you know, when you're going around and there's little like platforms you can climb onto that normally open up on, on quite wide areas of ground, you can find them in there. And there's two variants of it there's a normal variant, and you can saw it off. Um, you can only put the PU scope on it, and it takes 762 by 54 in um, trace or normal and loose and box versions. You can put a compensator on it, and, or you can find the bayonet for it. But it's very, very powerful, the Mosan, and quite common. So it's the sort of gun you can have. It's like a, a poor man's sniper rifle, um, and it is very, very effective indeed, especially if you hit people um, in, the, uh, in the chest or in the head. Um, right, okay, so let's now go back up to here. Now, the AK uh, versions of guns. Now, there's loads of these, and it can get very, very confusing because they tend to be called AKs or KAs, basically, um, and they look similar, but they'll take different magazines, most of them, and different bullets. Now, this is the KA-101, quite a rare weapon. Um, there's a couple of different types of stock for it, a wooden stock, um, and a, uh, a lightweight stock and there's also a couple of different types of handguards there's the normal handguard and there is a handguard with the uh, with the attachment slot on it uh, it takes 556 by 45 quite common ammo in normal and tracer and boxed and loose um, and there's the 30 round mag um, can take all the russian sites and you'll find it in military locations but only up towards the northwest so it's quite quite a rare gun then we have the AK-74, or the, or the KA-74. Um, now this runs 545 by 39 with a 45 round or a 30 round mag. Um, and again, you've got boxed or loose variants. Um, and this will take all of the Russian type scopes. And again, you'll find this in military areas. One of my favorite guns, the, um, the KAS-74U. Now the AK-47, when it was actually created, it was... You, it could be argued it was more of a submachine gun excuse me while I take a drink rather than an assault rifle um, but the KS-74U this really is like a submachine gun um, this baby is box uh, takes 545 by 39 in boxed and loose and tracer variants um, you can put on the normalized suppressor for it um, and uh, you can't put any uh, sights on it but you'll find this in military locations great little gun doesn't take up too much space in your bag either um, yeah very very nice to, to have that particular type of gun then we have the KAM very exciting gun this one um, I haven't put any ammo with this that's a bit bad on me uh, so the KAM is 762 by 39 we have a 30 round mag um, we have a 75 round drum mag let me sink that in. let me let that sink that in an assault rifle with a 75 round mag um, again we've got um, a couple of stock options we've got we can put the suppressor on it uh, the battery's there for the for the scopes and again, it takes all the Russian scopes and we will be found in military areas up towards the top left hand side of Cherry. very nice gun um, uh, and especially if you get a hold of the 75 round mag and enough bullets now let's go over and have a look at the um, the kind of the, the common um, NATO version. So this is the M16, which takes 556 by 45. Uh, very very common bullets in normal and uh, boxed and loose and tracer and normal versions. Um, the M16A2 can take the suppressor, and there's a uh, 30 round mag and there is a 60 round mag. Some servers may well run this the coupled mag as well. Um, you can't change the optic on this gun, and but it's pretty common and pretty powerful. It's got a burst mode and a semi-automatic mode. Very, I really like the M16. Be found in military locations. Quite common. Sling it on your shoulder, and you've got a really reliable workhorse um, on on your hands. Kind of another one you have as well. Oop, let's go down oop, to here. Here we have the FAMAS or the Lamas, as it's called in the game. Uh, this kind of sort of sort of two version of it. There's the normal version. Uh, it takes five four. 556 by 45 in boxed normal um, and tracer and normal versions. There's a 25 round box mag, and you can saw off the sights to give you a little bit better view. Um, now, a little bit more rare, this gun. You will find it in helicopter crashes, um, maybe on the military trains, maybe, but it's really in uh, helicopter crashes. Um, and then, kind of 
the king really of daisy for, for a lot of people is the m4a1 assault rifle very very modular this uh, lots of different options for how to set it up we've got the um, main body there you've got the rail handguard there's a plastic handguard that you can put on if you put the rail handgun on, on it you can put the you can put the um, the universal flash line as, as well you can put a suppressor on the front you could put a bayonet on the front uh, if you didn't want a flash sight you could put the m4a1 carry handle sight which makes it looks like an m16 um, or you can put the NATO scopes on it. So we've got the you know the A ACOGs 4x32, 4x48, uh, the RBN sights, the combat sights, and we've got the Starlight scope there as well. 5.56x45, um, uh, so very very common. However, um, quite a rare uh, weapon because you have to go to the um, contaminated zones. You know the the one at Riffey or the other one down to the southwest that's the only place you'll find it and as of 118 which is when i'm making this video normally there's only one of these babies will spawn on the server at a time when someone takes it it will then respawn but that makes it a very very rare weapon but very powerful very worth uh, uh, uh hunting it out to to play with it that way now this is another i really like this weapon as well this is the org or the or as it's called you've got the or ax and the or a1 difference being is the uh, aur a1 has a built-in scope um, and you can use it with iron sights we can go down to the scope uh, we've got uh, 30 round mags this will take the stanag mags as well so the uh, m16 or the m4 mags um, and the or ax has got the rail on it so that means it will then take you know the nato type scopes that go on the rail um, and this is found in military locations. Okay, so hunting rifles. I really like hunting rifles. Hunting is a very important part of DayZ for me. And so here we here we have the CR527, which runs off 7.62x39. There's a tracer variant and there's a loose variant, there's a normal variant and box variant. And there's the there's the mag for it. I don't know quite know why it's floating in midair. So you have to load the bullets into the mag and put it in, or you can load one bullet at a time. Uh, there's the hunting scope. Really beautiful scope, the hunting scope. Um, in fact, let's, let me show you. Let's put the hunting scope onto this. Look at that, very clean scope, like that. Loads of magnification, magnification, great for hunting deer. Um, now this particular weapon is found in hunting places. So again, um, the uh, the pubs are often classed as hunting locations and you'll find it um, on those those platforms that are out in the countryside. So also found in farms and if you're lucky, you'll find them in villages as well. Here we have the uh, CR550 Savannah. Um, which has a uh, 10 round mag or a uh, 4 round mag um, again takes the hunting scope um, and takes 308 so very very powerful indeed there's normal and very uh, tracer variants and then you've got loose and box variants found in hunting locations now you'll notice that with these guns I haven't put the there's no suppressor so let's go over here I just quickly want to show you something else most guns that don't take uh, of the, the the AK suppressor or the M4 suppressor um, will take the uh, plastic bottle suppressor. So if you take an empty plastic bottle, combine it with some duct tape, you can make one of these babies. And these will basically fit on on almost any gun anyway. So you could have one of these on M16 if you like, and that helps dampen down the sound when you're firing. Just do bear in mind that they are just suppressors they're not silencers so zombies and other players will hear you from quite a long way away so there was the cr550 and here we have the m70 tundra this is uh, rifled in box 308 so incredibly powerful hunting rifle uh, again only found in hunting locations we have a tracer version we have a normal version we've got loose and boxed very very nice gun this one with an internal magazine um yeah, five shot bolt, bolt action fed from an internal magazine. A real hunting rifle, that one. I, I super enjoy using that when I'm going out hunting for, for deer or boar or that sort of thing. Okay, so what we have here is, this is the Pioneer. Now, the Pioneer is found in police stations and it was found in the prison. You know, on the south coast of Chernerist, um, uh towards the west, uh, off the coast where the prison is, you might find one there. Um, this is a really cool rifle because it has the rail on the top 
so you can use all of the NATO scopes. So you can have a night vision sniper's rifle, or you could even have a you know a um, a sniper rifle with a uh, red dot sight on it. Uh, boxed in 556 by 45 so not the most powerful uh, slug in the round in in the world but will do the job if you hit people you know in the head or in the chest especially if they're not wearing a, um, a stab vest or bulletproof vest uh, has a found five round magazine can take the standard ice suppressor very nice gun there's a couple of different cosmetic variants as well that, that you'll come across as you're going around here we are now this is very nice so this is the blaze um, the blaze is an over and under hunting rifle so it'll take the scope uh, you can saw off the barrel again for a shorter version um, and it gives you two shots so you could use this in pvp uh, situations because you know you can kill somebody with two shots but it's better for hunting um, uh, 308 it's uh, chambered in so you've got box you've got loose versions you've got um, a, a tracer version as well very nice hunting gun and again, you'll find that in in hunting uh, locations, which would be you know like the pubs, uh, you know, and the platforms that way. Okay, so I think we've really covered all of these guns now. Aha! No, we haven't. Here we go. So here we have now. These are the very common guns that you probably want to swap out pretty quickly. So this is the BK18. Um, so this baby is chambered in uh, 762 by 39. So nice, nice and powerful, but you can't put um, a scope on it and it only takes one bullet um, so you kind of you break it you put one bullet and you use it you know it's a real farmers um, you find it in farming location you find it in villages so it's, it's if you miss with that bullet in a pvp situation you know you could well be in trouble this is the repeater carbine um, we tend to call them winchesters it's not called um, winchester in the game um, this one has an internal magazine Let's see how big it is i can't quite remember seven shot internal magazine uses uh 357 rounds there's box rounds and there's loose rounds you'll find it on farms and you'll find it in villages um yeah a cool gun to play around with um a cool gun to use you know, if you want to give yourself a challenge for hunting and then we this we have the good old SKS, which you'll find in lots of military locations. So this is a good Russian, old Russian army rifle. Uh, has an internal magazine, which uh, will take uh, da, 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 10 shots. Um, and it's chambered in 762 by 39 but it's semi-automatic. So bang, bang, bang. Will only take the PU scope, which isn't the best scope in the world. But yeah, I would take the SKS as a general purpose rifle because it's fast enough for PvP work and also for hunting as well. Very, very nice. You can put the improvised suppressor on it should you wish. Now, the Sporter. The Sporter's interesting because it uses, it's the only rifle that uses the 22 LR. Um, but it does have a 30 round magazine and 15 round magazine. So the 22 um, is, is fairly lightweight ammo. Um, you can fit the hunting scope to it. You'll find it in villages and you'll find it in towns. Um, but it's quite a lightweight thing. It's probably good for popping the heads of zombies and smaller domestic animals. Um, and in a pinch, you could use it in PvP. And, you know, if that's all you've got, then use it. But its big advantage, I guess, is the fact that if you put the 30-round mag on it, you've got lots of uh, got lots of bullets. Now, the rangefinder. Now, I've added this in. Now, you'll find the rangefinder in police stations, military areas, hunting areas, and industrial areas. Um, use it with the battery. Now, the beauty with the rangefinder is that it tells you how far it is. So, if you're doing some serious long range sniping with some of the guns we had over there, this baby will show you the exact um, distance of those targets so you can zero your sight to really take people out at long, 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 long distances. Right, so we've done all kind of the what I would call the proper weapons. <laughs> Let's now go back and uh, have a look at these pistols. Now, obviously, uh, if, if all you've got is a pistol, then you know, you know, by all means, use it. I don't tend to carry them that much. I, I often have a backup pistol um, on a quick slot, you know, ready to whip out and, and shoot people. But they're not that powerful. Okay for popping heads on zombies, and I guess on, on players as well. But let, let's go for completion sake. So you've got the CR seventy five, um, which runs off nine by nineteen. Um, which you can fit the silencer to and the uh, the flashlight and then you've got the Mlock 91 as well um, 15 round mag on that one so that's pretty cool um, and the P1 which is like a German Luger from the war, war which has got like a, an 8 round mag and you can find these guns in uh, villages and police stations the Deagle very very cool very very powerful gun because this is chambered in 357 magnums um, so there's the normal Deagle and there's the gold Deagle um, 
and with the normal deagle and the gold deagle you can put the suppressor on it you've got the nine round mag um, you can put the handgun scope onto this baby which means you can you almost go hunting with it which which is pretty cool now related to the deagle they also use the 357 you've got the revolver so this is dirty harry's gun I like that gun a lot um, and you've got the sword off version on it as well so that you can saw it off um, and then you've also got the derringers now the normal derringer uh, you will find in around different places, but the pink one and the black one you will find in suits or the, the dresses that are, that are pink. And all these guns you'll kind of find them in and around towns. Now we've got the FX45, uh, you can put the silencer on that. It's got a 15 round mag, chambered in uh, 45 ACP. Um, you can put the uh, mini sights on it and you can put the flashlight found in military areas and then you've got the Colt 1911 the normal version and the engraved version I'll tell you what we need to turn the lights on don't we um, you've got a seven round mag for that again military locations we've got the nice little IJ-70 very very common gun this find this all over the place in villages and towns uh, takes uh, 0 0.380 loose and box put the suppressor on it and you've got a 12 round mag um, not very powerful, but again, doesn't take up much space in inventory and a gun of last um, resort. Uh, the, the Mark 11 or the Mark 2 with a built in silencer, very, very quiet. This good for popping the heads of zombies at quite close range. Again, takes the 22 LR. There's a loose version, there's box versions of that, and a 10 round mag. You'll find that this in villages and in towns. The Longhorn, what an unusual gun. This is, this is a break action. You could call it hunting pistol. It takes uh, 0.308 uh, in tracer or normal boxed or loose versions, and you can put the handgun scope on this one. So you can take take down deer with this thing if you wanted to, um, and that's found in hunting locations. Um, and then I've included this. It's not really a gun. It's the signal pistol. You find the signal pistol in military locations, police stations, fire stations, medical places, and on the coast. Um, and you can just load flares and I don't flares don't do any damage when you fire at them but they're pretty cool when you fire them in, fire them in the air now we talked a little bit about gun cleaning kits the importance of those also lots of the rifles and lots of the guns you can fit um, rifle wraps that you can either make or you can find normally you find them at helicopter crashes and I think we've covered all of the guns now now I'm recording this video in Daisy 1.18 um, so what I will do is when new guns come out, I always do a kind of a, a first look kind of of the uh, of the new weapons, and I will add them in this as well. And if you're watching this thinking, oh, I really would like to be able to recreate this um, gun convention on my server, what I will do is I will put a link in the description below the video to my GitHub, which has the files where you can do this yourself. So my friends, there we go, a beginner's guide to the guns, weapons, ammo, attachments, and how to find them in DayZ. This is a massive subject, and we have really only scratched the surface, even though this is a really long video. But hopefully you found it useful. If you have, uh, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, obviously uh, subscribe, and I will see you again soon.